So my biggest disappointment for this year, I think it's going to be Larson. I don't think he's going to set the world on fire. Eight wins. Putting this video right now, I'll give you a hundred dollars if Larson makes the final four, much less wins the damn title. I never said that. Tape says you did. You deep faked that shit. You deep faked that shit. I saw you deep faked that shit. Yeah, yeah. He admitted it. You guys just saw it. He I disagree. It. I did not. I did not do that. It you was, did. No, I did not. I never said that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. In a court of law. You said that shit. I saw you say that. I didn't, I didn't say that. All right. Don't try to bill me either. How would you like to be billed, sir? I'm not. <laughs> um, My yeah. lawyer will contact your lawyer. <laughs> I am your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Texas, man. Cool, bitches? good talk. All right, that's been the show, guys. <laughs> Texas um, was bitching. Eh. Nah, I don't even don't even try to play it off like Texas was good. <laughs> God, I don't know. I heard on door bumper clear Texas the the uh, the area around Texas is growing. So, uh, hold on. that thing's bothering me. There we go. Um, <laughs> becoming a bigger market and they're like it could be running into a chicago land situation where that land is worth more <laughs> worth more as a development than a racetrack so only fingers hope, crossed <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean i mean especially I mean, if we get wilkesboro back it's like bringing a full fucking circle <laughs> well yeah i mean they got coda and exactly. then they bring wilkesboro back that's an smi day i mean go ahead knock it off put the all-star race at wilkesboro fuck it dude <laughs> Sign me up for the All Star Race at Wilkesboro. I'll drink to that. Yeah, no, sign me up for any race at Wilkesboro, but still. Yeah, just get fucking Texas off this. I mean, the racing suck. The stands are empty. Yeah. I mean, Not you don't have just... Eddie Gossage holding NASCAR by the balls to keep it on the schedule anymore. So I mean, yeah, axe the bitch. Yeah, I'd either axe it or tear it up and do something else like if you can't yeah. get rid of it then fix it um i don't understand they I mean, didn't try to blow they, it up and it didn't work yeah they didn't try hard <laughs> enough damn it yeah they should have put us out there we figured it out kyle larson swept texas this year and even he talked shit on it on nascar live this, this evening so <laughs> wait he did what he was like, well, they were, they were talking about repaved tracks and uh, and which ones work, like Kansas has, has aged pretty well and Darlington, even though that was a while ago. But he was like, yeah, Texas is no, it wasn't. It was not like very good. A month ago. Well, everywhere yeah. outside of turn two. <laughs> but, oh, man. I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's. Uh, I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. So, yeah. <laughs> garage it was guy chase. right? <laughs> no, I remember. Garage guy Chase was like, um, he, he had a TikTok. He's like, yeah, they say everything's bigger in Texas. He's like, is Victory Lane small as fuck? Garage stalls, I've seen bigger. <laughs> like, just going off about how average size everything is. <laughs> He's like literally an average size NASCAR track. <laughs> he goes out on the front stretch. He's like, I've been to Talladega. It's way bigger than this. Yeah. So big facts, big facts. Um, hopefully the, the next gen car will be a, a Pangea or Pansea or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Steve yeah. and Donald said, or not Steve Donald, Steve Phelps said Some about uh, last word. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I took Latin and I didn't, never heard that word. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I told someone I could. Uh, I could tell them how I could. I told someone I could tell them how how to say I can say I can speak a little German, and I said it wrong in German. So shows how much. Right. I, yeah. <laughs>
I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't want to know anything. I just want to be stupid. Being stupid is more fun. Stupid is as stupid does. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just ask Rick where. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, obviously, it's the Big Motor Small Blade Podcast. By the way, we- this is. This is what that is, in case we didn't say it already. But, yes, we will talk about Rick Ware Racing in some capacity tonight. Um, there, are three, there are three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and the Big Motor Small Blade podcast shitting on Rick Ware. <laughs> I mean, I didn't exactly shit on him last week. <laughs> Talking about uh, – okay. <laughs> so, Larson's won eight races this year. As I, I don't know that anyone would have predicted that. <laughs> You're fucking looking at him. Dude, he's won a third of the races this season. You might need to check that math. Oh. Not even a quarter. It's not even a quarter. <laughs> God, shout out to that guy. I commented <laughs> that. God, uh, he, you know, yeah. math is hard. Ask me. What's what's three times 60? Or what's three times 80? 360, man. Come on. Fucker had me about paying $180 more for dirt vision than I ended up paying because I trusted his math. <laughs> Luckily, I double checked. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take math. Don't take much advice from me, especially not from math. Don't it's like a, it was like that fucking meme going on. Everybody saying uh, three squared is six, <laughs> three squared is nine. <laughs> yeah. But. Good luck telling people that, man. I love how I just stared off in the distance, like not trying to figure that out. I know, I'll I play it off it. like I'll play it off like I was staring off in the distance. I was looking at my Chase Elliott stuff, which is number nine. So I can yeah. hear. By voice. the way, guys, I do have Chase Elliott stuff. I don't. Yeah, I don't hate him <laughs> all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, here let's. Uh, I guess let's. Um, Try Take to squash it. this while we can't. Oh Take shit! <laughs> Break it um, Can I flip it? Yeah, I, I can have flip no it. No idea. So look, there we go. Look, see Chase, and more Chase, and also Chase. Yeah, crazier things have happened. I mean, you're going to start a bonfire with that later, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. I would expect nothing less. Yeah, this rubber burns nice. <laughs> Um, Bert Robert, <laughs> Bert Robert, the essence of racing. Um, all right, cool. So Texas, <laughs> finally, um, we had a big one. Yeah, we did have a big one. Yeah, yeah. Bubba, Bubba got into his teammate there and wrecked half the field. <laughs> I mean, good lord, I was about the. Who knew? I mean, Texas was. I feel like Texas was even worse. Because it was a shit show. I don't know. They're all Texas. I don't know. Yeah. Texas um, shit show, Texas non shit show. Does it make a difference? Texas. Yeah, they're all, Texas. Yeah, yeah. They're all shit shows. Shit show. Um, shit show. Um, shit yeah, show. there was a big one on the back stretch. Took out a lot of guys. None of the playoff guys got in it. We thought Kyle Bush did, but he did not. Yeah. No, he did not. Um, took out Bowman, took out Priest, took out uh, it didn't take out Bubba, did it? Yeah, it did take out Bubba. Um, yes, yes, it did. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, Kyle Bush won stage one, um, got some points there, helped yeah. them in the playoffs, not helping my fantasy picks. Uh, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I read this down. Chase Elliott's tire comes or starts to come apart. He comes down pit road, and what do you know? A caution comes out. He was already lapped down by the time it happened, though. <laughs> yeah, no, that was we were in the car, and I was like, "Hey, Chase, Chase was lapped down. He had the pit." And you're like, "In before the caution comes out." <laughs> right as you said that, they go, "Caution's out. Debris on track." Yeah, I'm we like, "Dead ass." I was we like, "Did he that rip that carbon fiber?" <laughs> I was like, "Did he rip that carbon fiber off this car himself?" Throw it out there. I'm kidding. Let's. Yeah. Oh God! I told. Didn't we say last week we we're a shit on Chase as much to show? And here we are. Did we? I don't know. Yeah. 
for the Bernie Sanders me. Here I am. Here I am again asking you for your support. <laughs> um, we're going to shit on Chase Elliott. Yeah. Um, Chase and or we'll put it Briscoe. <laughs> Chase Briscoe and Denny Hamlin are beefing again. The one actually uh-huh. named Chase. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, not, Clyde that Clyde, not that Clyde guy. Yeah. Um, they're beefing. Um, Denny was mad because Chase was racing them. And I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Denny I, I, like stuffed them. <laughs> yeah. I don't necessarily blame Denny for racing him that way. I mean, he did completely junk his ass at Indy. So, I'd yeah, little, I mean, I'd be a little upset still, too. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's always bound to happen when you get down to eight playoff drivers and the rest of them yeah. not in it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny. Chase Prisca, he was like, he was like, I'm sorry. When I've, when I've run 10,000 races, maybe I'll learn. And then he's, then he's like, the way you race, you ain't going to make it to 10,000 races. Yeah. I, I, I prefer, I prefer the spat on Instagram than I do junking each other on the racetrack so i'm okay with it well that's a contradicting to something else we're going to talk about <laughs> i don't know if you set that up on purpose uh joey blew up jojo the blow blow <laughs> <laughs> jojo the blow blow uh yeah so that's fun <laughs> first time since 2014 that uh joey's had an engine failure can't wait for him to win Kansas now. Oh, great. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Um, you see Chris Busher? You see Andy Alfredo? <laughs> Golly, yeah. Good Lord. Knock the damn Duck tape and hope ain't going to hold that thing together. Ew. Yeah. Ew. And then the damn thing lights on fire. I'm like, ah, get out of there. Yeah, burnt pasta. You leave your pasta in the in the pan too long, it will burn. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta stir it, man. You gotta stir it. Stir the pasta in there. That's what we're gonna have to call them now. Unstirred pasta. Unstirred. <laughs> dude, everybody's dude. Everybody's like, look at that saved by Chris Butcher. I'm like, he's got a fucking lawnmower engine, a 47 foot fucking spoiler. What do you think he's gonna do? <laughs> you stole that, but okay. I absolutely stole that from someone on Twitter. Uh, I would shout you out, but I forgot. Check the Big Motor Small Blade Twitter. I retweeted it. Yes, you did. I That's was all that Twitter t- is, is just retweeting stuff I find funny. <laughs> retweeting and clapping back at people. Pretty much, yeah. That's all it is. Hey, that's, that's what Twitter's for, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, a couple other playing. playoff guys. <laughs> yeah, a couple other playoff guys had issues. Hamlin spun after Blaney fucking – was like yeet <laughs> doored him coming off well then he kind of uh, then he got the wreck then he got in a, a later wreck i'm struggling well yeah because it's yeah. <laughs> well his tire went down because he hit blaney well i know he got in a wreck after that yeah yeah that was what it was his tire went down and he no, spun because of, after that he got in a wreck. oh yeah because chris yeah yeah i forgot about that he hit the man chris yeah and somehow ironically it was chase briscoe that caused that yes chase briscoe was a <laughs> fucking cannonball on sunday yeah well that last wreck really wasn't his fault he just got he got loose and you know kind if of we're gonna blame, if we're gonna blame brian vickers for all five of his wrecks at martinsville 2011 then we have to blame chase briscoe for all of these fair enough okay it's, it's how it works yeah uh speaking of playoff guys uh and non-playoff guys getting together you know true x fucking <laughs> Drove across Suarez's nose like he wasn't even fucking there. Yeah, yeah. And somehow the biggest whiner he drove across his he drove his across his nose like he didn't steal his ride two years ago. (laughs) Um. Yeah. God, he fucking like Truex fucking hit that wall a ton. Yeah. Did you see how much the safer barrier moved? Yeah. Like good lord, bless, dude. The hits are bigger in Texas. Yeah, Sunday they were. Yeah, good lord. Yeah, that thing. I well, mean, it that was that kind of reminded me of a few years ago. Um, Larson knocked the fuck out of the wall. 
Um, yeah. No, it reminded me of when Steve Park hit that same wall at about the same angle in, in 97 and broke his leg. Yeah. Wait. I bet, it, I bet it wasn't a safer barrier wall back then, too. No, it wasn't. I think that was Atlanta. But it was, just, I mean, same shape tracks, about the same place, and that happened. Um, and then, yeah, that was the race. Nothing else happened. No one really won. Um, <laughs> no one really won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Kyle Larson's locked into the final four. Huh, shocker. Um, Someone and, wasn't convinced of that early in the season. Oh, yeah. Pete fake. Sorry. Huh? Yeah, it was a deep fake. I, was a deep I fake. told you Larson was going to fucking win. Don't you fucking a toe to so me. I, yeah, you said he was going to win eight. I was like, bullshit, he's going to win nine. Look, he did. I mean, honestly, I hope didn't I didn't you say Didn't you say <laughs> he was going to win eight plus the all-star race? I don't know if at that moment I said that, but I remember. You definitely said that at some point before the when, season started. <laughs> yeah, no, when they, no, we were at the all-star race in 2020. And I said, yeah. Oh, when, yeah. When this goes, <laughs> that is exactly where you said it. The only thing I got wrong is I said it would be back in Charlotte. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I said next year when the all-star race goes back to Charlotte. There we go. That's the part that was wrong. Kyle's going to be win his second in a row <laughs> he did he literally said then he was like he's gonna win eight races and the all-star race sure i don't remember that part but yeah sure uh you definitely said it i mean comp collab co- collectively you said that yeah, yeah, but yeah. i feel like you said it at one point together um blaney maybe, is maybe. up 17 on the cutoff line someone got their playoff prediction or it, it's looking like somebody got their final four predictions pretty spot on you were close my guy i'm getting yeah i'm about eight points away yeah you <laughs> yeah. are eight points it, away from being I, there yeah i am yeah i'm steve o'donnell's email away from from picking the final four right God. um yeah hamlin's plus nine bush is plus eight over over uh chase um can't see how and that then, goes <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Brad is minus 15. Martin's minus 22. Joey's minus 43. Joey, unless he has a mer- – oh. unless he has – I'm not – never mind. This is a lot to make up. Well, yeah, I just don't – I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want it to be- – <laughs> I was going to say, Joey's going to need a miracle. <laughs> oh, Joey – Joey finds ways in the round of eight. He, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I'm not even gonna, we're not gonna comment on that. No. Nope. Um, yeah, so I mean, Joey Logano and winning his second race of the season in the round of eight, name a better duo. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I still feel good about my final four predictions. I still think, uh, I still I think Elliot it. finds a way. If you guys hadn't noticed, my laptop's over here. That's why I'm looking at I don't know how I feel about my round of eight predictions or round of four, round of four predictions. Um, oh yeah. You picked three Gibbs cars and Larson, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I didn't really intend to, I just knew the five and 11 were there. And then I don't know why I picked Kyle Bush and I still think Martin Trish is going to win Martinsville. Um, Cause when the sun sets at Martinsville, Martin Trix Jr. picks up like four tenths. I don't know how he does it, but somehow, yeah. like every time it ends under under the nightfall, just about he picks up four tenths at the end and wins the race. So, yeah, um, yeah, He's Kyle an air Bush, hose away. Yeah, basically, Kyle Busch is the only one that I don't feel confident in. I still think Truex wins Martinsville. That hasn't changed. So we both think Bush is gonna gonna flub it here. Yeah, he might I not think, flub it. He might get some help. Yeah, I think Kyle Bush needs to win this week, or he's in, or he could be in trouble because obviously Martin's below the cut line, right? Martin, yeah, Let's he's twenty two points. He's seventh. Okay, yeah, I don't remember twenty two points back. We're gonna pull it up. Uh, you're gonna pull it up. Sure. 
go. Not that one. Where is it? Found it. I mean, I have it. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. There we go. Yeah. All right. So, fuck, I, I didn't count for Blaney. Yeah, no. Blaney could win Martinsville. Damn it. I yeah, keep forgetting he saying, exists. That's what I'm saying, dude. Blaney, I told you Blaney, like, I these just three tracks could I not be trust, better for Ryan Blaney. I he know, but I don't trust them. I just I, don't. Well, dude, I didn't trust that he could win more than one race in a season. And look at the fucker. He won me $300 in the Daytona Dash. I know. Spot from the garage guys. Shout out to them. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm riding this bitch all the way to my, not Miami, Phoenix. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah. I would be thoroughly shocked if Brad Keselowski got in. Um, I mean, he. Brad Keselowski wins at Kansas. Well, Brad. <laughs> Is another guy that could he could win Martinsville. He's been dude. I I still here. Here's what I think. I I think my four are. I still think my four are going to be right. But also, I also I know that any one of these guys could win anywhere. Any yeah. one of the seven could yeah, win possible. anywhere. Well, yeah. I I need to see some some serious evidence before I'm willing to put stock into Kyle Larson at Martinsville. Well, it doesn't matter. You won Texas. It, exactly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does, doesn't matter anymore. He's out of the conversation. We'll talk it, about him in two weeks. That, yeah, that's fine with me. Um, Even but, going to Kansas? I, I think he has to contractually. <laughs> oh, that's lame. I'm, I'm picking. Damn, I was going to say, get him on the show. <laughs> God, yeah, Kyle, how's Kyle, it feel? If we could get Kyle Larson on the show, dude, that'd be incredible. <laughs> Yeah, Seth be screaming without the S. Um, and with the S at the same time. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Ultimate fangirling. <laughs> Yikes. Um, uh, for the now, record, I've every, always had for, calm interactions with Kyle Larson. It's never been weird. It's hilarious watching that. Seth will, like, though, Seth will be getting Larson's autograph, and, like, they're both the most awkward people it's, talking to each other. Yep. It's like... Th- He's met – how many times have you met Larson? Five or six, something like that. Yeah, five or six times you've maybe said nine words to the guy. <laughs> yeah, and most of them were on a microphone at, like, the Chevy thing at Charlotte Motor Speedway. <laughs> yeah. And it was some dorky-ass racing question that I'm sure he Yeah, but he act, did – yeah, but he appreciated – he, like, gave you a, a better oh, answer he, than he, he gave gives, anybody else. Yeah, no, he's, he, gave, he gave me a really good answer when I asked. He was lying out of his fucking ass. But hey, look, we all know I'm the only one who's ever been able to get some emotion out of Kyle Larson. That is true. He still wish... he still thinks about that to this day. I hope he does. Um, oh well, I guess the I wish you'd have gotten, I just I wish you'd have gotten that on video. I really wish. So what I what happened? We we're at Indianapolis <clears throat> the day of the race, and they're coming. They're getting ready to come out for driver intros. They're coming out of the. Uh, little i don't know what it is over there then some just building at indy drivers yeah. walk through and then they walk through the um pagoda pagoda plaza yeah. to go to driver intros larson walks out the door and i yell national nationals champion kyle larson and he gave the biggest smile i think he's ever yeah. given in his entire life he was like hype as fuck i've never <laughs> seen him look that happy in my life <laughs> yeah i being him our theory is that was the first time he had heard it at the track yeah probably he was like oh shit i really did do that didn't i that happened <laughs> cool yeah he still he thinks about that that's why he won texas he thought about me i'm fine with that that's the same yeah. reason Chase. i live rent free in kyle larson's Head, and I live rent free in all of the Chase Elliott fans that were at Charlotte's head. By the way, speaking of that, um, oh God. <laughs> 10 words, 45 seconds, one phone call. <laughs> like, so Get NASCAR. Your fucking shit together, you bunch of fuckers! Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> they said exclamation point. Fuck, that's two words. No, it's one word. It's one word now. 
It's hyphenated. It counts. Yeah, one word. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuckers. Fuck it. Um, yeah, Kevin versus Chase. Still not ever. Every week we've got something to talk about. God, Even if we don't, we're going to find something to talk about. Um, NASCAR gives him a call and says, hey, knock it off. Um, what for? I don't know. Like, it almost, <laughs> it almost seems like to me it's like everybody's talking about it. <laughs> and I know this isn't what it is, but it's like NASCAR just wanted to get in the middle of it. Like, no, talk about us. We want to be talked about. Yeah. Um, NAS- NASCAR can't stray too far from being the conversation. Yeah, I just it, – it, it was going to handle itself. I don't it under- basically did. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it sounds like it, – it comes off as if they're trying to protect Chase. Yeah. And I'm not I'm – really, I'm really not trying to say this because, obviously, Harvick. Um, I think even, really if you just- take, even if you take the fact that he's Chase Elliott out of it, I think him being a playoff driver – is yeah a lot that's of it. more of what i'm saying yeah, yeah it's the playoff aspect of it yeah and it's like here's the thing if why step in one it hadn't really gotten i mean harvick hit him at fucking charlotte okay chase was going to give him back harvick wrecked made himself look like an ass i mean i don't think i don't think it was going to go any further yeah i mean chase already won in my eyes so yeah. it's over yeah i mean unless so why step in does but, something okay cool you stepped in actually stop it like you call him you're like hey uh knock this shit off and chase is over here making a fucking t-shirt making money off the shit yeah here's the thing and i'm like i didn't have a problem with the t-shirt but it's like i have more of a problem with nascar being like yo cut this shit out and Okay, well, you have – I'm sorry. There's been instances. NASCAR has the power. If they wanted to be like, hey, Chase, don't fucking do that, they could tell them not to fucking do that, but they're not going to fucking tell them to do that. Like, Well, I don't see the need for them to tell them not to do that. Yeah, really? I mean, I don't either, but if they're going to go as far as to make it – and here's the thing, to make a – oh, you made a phone call. What happened to the days where they pulled the drivers into the trailer and Mike Helton sat them down and, you know, yeah, was like, hey, get your shit together. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. It's um, – it Might as well text like, them. Well, it seems like it's Send them a little, message too, on kick. Well, it seemed like it was too little too late. Yeah, like yeah. Kevin Harvick knows what the fuck kick is. Um, but it's like if you wanted to do this, you should have done this after Bristol. Yeah. You shouldn't have waited until after But then that would have sounded really stupid. Yeah, I don't know. It's it just it's bad optics. It looks like they're you either do like it. Their favorite. You either do it. It looks like the they're original, f- yeah, or you don't do it at all. It kind of looks like they're favoring Chase, and not just because it's Chase, but because you know playoff guy, and it's also Chase Elliott. Um, oh, I guarantee. But there's you, no reason to step in. There's I no guarantee reason to step you in. They are worried about another Logano Kenseth moment happening at Martinsville to Chase Elliott. Like yeah. I don't think NASCAR is ready for something like that. Well, that was already some poor shit too, because two things with that one, Gordon did the same fucking thing Uh, um, at Phoenix and got no penalty for it. He went out and won the next fucking race. And two, Steve O'Donnell's kids, a Joey Logano fan, and they apologized to Matt Kenseth. They're like, yeah, sorry, we probably shouldn't have suspended you, but my kid's a Logano fan. So we kind of overreacted. That's a real thing. Look it up. (laughs) Um, But, I don't know. I think it's – sorry. It's um, dumb. And, and, and the way Chase drives, I wouldn't be shocked if it happened at some point in his career. Um, but, yeah, it's going <laughs> to – I still don't think Chase really drives that egregious as you think he does. He does on the plate tracks. But, anyway, yeah. Yeah, well, he's still not as bad as, like, Joey or Brad, I feel like. Oh, God, no. Yeah. But, anyway, it's just – it's an ongoing – I like I said, my whole issue with it is – if you're going to stop it, stop it to the fullest. And if you're – but why? I, I just didn't understand why they felt the don't, need to step in. Don't I felt like it. it was – If you're going to yeah. do it, don't half-ass it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Harvick – I mean, that's the thing. It's like Chase 
gets to go off and do, you know, well, I guess Chase didn't. Chase wasn't like, yeah, make a T-shirt. Chase is like, store, you're quick to make a shirt if he finishes fucking 13th. Um Stage winner merchandise. Go get it. Yeah. ChaseElliott.com. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, they they put that out and Harvick, Harvick's like, damn, he's still worried about me. Maybe you should go worry about the five car that's whooping his ass right now. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But it is what it is. Um Chase Elliott comments, never strays too far. Comments are me. left on in the down below. Instagram handle the buddy pulley. So if you want to patronize me, hit me up. Love to hear it. Um, okay. <laughs> What's next? Hold hit on, buddy up. His sensitive areas are no, <laughs> no. look, <laughs> guy. <laughs> um, Kyle Bush gave out Steve O'Donnell's email. <laughs> did you did you happen to write that down? Write that down. I didn't. I still haven't actually heard Shit. it. Damn it. I want to yeah. I want to send a 16 paragraph fucking novel about what I'm upset about. 16 and paragraphs is not a novel. It is if the paragraphs are long enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continue. I want to send my novel about what I'm upset about and how they need to fix it pronto. What are you upset about and what is and how they how are they supposed to well no just what are you upset about? We don't have time for that other part. Oh god, everything except oh, okay cool five car. I like that. Um everything else can suck it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck I can yeah, do Seth, that. In- Seth on this NASCAR on a NASCAR podcast hates everything about it. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah so- he's so <laughs> I don't feel like I don't I'm know. very shy about hating everything. The exact quote, well, not the exact quote, but basically what the quote was, if you like this 550, or if you don't like this 550 package, email Steve O'Donnell at blankety blank 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 at fucking hotmail.com or whatever. <laughs> at um, ligma.com. At ligma.com, yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of maybe not the best timing to go and give out <laughs> uh, whatever the executive director of whatever the fuck that Steve O'Donnell is. Yeah, I can't um, wait for Kyle Bush to be leading on the last lap of, or coming to the white flag at Martinsville to caution come out for no fucking reason whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you I've you hear stories and, like, you know, shit like this happens or, you know, you cause it, you know, crew member causes a scene or, you know, driver said something offhand and NASCAR, they were like, oh, okay. You want to you wanna do that? Well, you know, we're going to make life a little bit harder on you. We we're watching all 40 cars, but, you know, and just kind of now we're going to look at you in particular. Um, I'm starting to think NASCAR and North Korea are basically the same thing. Holy shit. Where the hell did that come from? Off the top can we of even head. say that? I sure hope so. Cause well, I just can didn't. you even say that? I didn't say shit. <laughs> You're a fucking pussy, buddy. Say it with I, me. Say no. it with me, damn it. Anyway, um, I don't know. NASCAR, I don't know, man. They they're like a pissed off teen <laughs> Tal Day Nuts watch. They're like a pissed off teenager. So is Harvick giving a phone call to Harvick and Chase, and then you know, Did I don't they know. Get both of them on the phone at the same time. Yeah, uh, how do they do that? I want their numbers. Yeah, just Maybe I'll email Steve, Steve O'Donnell. O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, damn. Cool. Some of, talk. some of that parallel thinking shit. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, uh, I guess we're getting into kind of our open. I guess we're off Texas now. Um, anything I mean, you want to talk? Anything else you want to talk about Texas? Um. Until they set the nuclear detonation time, I don't want to you're, talk about Texas. You're talking a lot about a lot about some. Uh, never mind. I'm not even gonna. You're, you're gonna anyway. Uh, I'm gonna Kurt be Bush, perched I'm gonna out. For next, I'm gonna be anyway, perched anyway, hundred miles mute, away. Can I mute you? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm the host. So no, you can't mute me. Damn it, uh, Kurt Busch doesn't have a charter next year. He will once Rick Ware loses theirs. Oh, I'm, yeah. I mean. 
We'll get there. I don't know. So they were supposed to have a deal with uh, who was it? Front Row. That was it. And it, apparently it fell through. Um, I, I don't know why. I don't know if they got funding for that 34 car or if they – or for the second car yeah. or if they're like – or if what I've heard is maybe charter value, charter values are still going up and they're like, ah, maybe we want to hold on to this, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I mean that, and that maybe that's kind of what I believe more than, I mean, it could be either one, but it's like, who's going to outbid Michael Jordan, like name a price. And they're going to, so kind of yeah. feel like they just were wanting to hang on to it. Um, it uh, well, maybe they're waiting to see how how much they can improve with the next gen car too, because you know everybody just got their first test with it. Yeah, maybe they were surprised by the results, like oh god, we we can be really competitive with this, and then they yeah rethought it, backed out. Yeah, I mean, you thought I you thought of the shocking Larson winning eight races. Watch, you know, fucking. Quinn Hauff got out there, man. He's going about, he's about to break Gordon's modern era record. Yeah, Quinn Hauff and Cody Ware are going to be the Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon of this era. Hell yeah, dude. Um, speaking of them, um, I th- well, going back to Kurt real quick, I think um, obviously aside from the 500 and even then, Kurt really doesn't have much to worry about as far as making races, but it's more of like and I know you said monster, you know, they're fully funded and whatever, but still like cuts the earnings that, you know, yeah, they're not going to be hurting for money, but they're definitely, they're, that car is going to get a lot less money than the other car on that team. So, yeah. I mean, but um, as far as like the team goes, the 45 is fully funded and the 23 has a, ass load of sponsors they're fully funded so yeah but you're also but here's the thing you gotta look at other teams that are also all fully funded that also are getting chart all the charter money yeah so the and i feel like i feel like the i mean granted with the next gen car the um i guess the room for you know improvement and experimentation on these cars are smaller I think also it, it is that much wider, I guess. The as far as like, you know, the yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, any bit of money you could get is going to count, I feel like. So, I feel like this is, yeah. it'll be a develop. I, I mean, if it's only, I still for think a they'll season. figure out a way to get a charter. Yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll, it'll be yeah. literally for next year. But I mean, you got to think about it. It's Kurt's could potentially be Kurt Bush's last year. You don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, either way for them, it's a brand new team with a brand new car. It's yeah. probably not going to hit right off the jump. Yeah, but I feel like it could, with it being the brand, the you know next gen car, it could. But they're not going to have. But they're also, you know, kicking themselves in the nuts a little bit if they don't get a chart. Which I still think. I still think they probably can get a charter from <clears throat> Rick Ware. Um Rick because Ware maybe racing. yeah Rick Ware racing. Um no no affiliation to Rick Ware racing. Um and also no, no affiliation know. to Cody Ware Rick Ware racing. Yeah or Dick Ware racing or Tick Ware racing or any of the above. Um but t- speaking of our uh our favorite team on this podcast we need some Rick Ware racing merchandise. We seriously need some hats that we need to wear in the videos. Some hats or like some shirts, man. I want a I want a Cody Wear flag. I want Cody Wear underwear. Yeah. You're fucking thinking outside the box. I like it. And outside then have the boxes. Yeah. I want a separate those. camera that's just why do on Chase Elliott and boxes? Haley Yeah. What? I want to we when I get the cha- the Cody Wear boxers, we're gonna have a separate camera that's just on the boxers. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that way when Seth pops a half chub when talking about Kyle, we can see it. Um, uh, yeah, why do Chase Elliott and Haley Deegan Bull. get – Okay, 
Why did Chase Elliott and Haley Deegan get PSD underwear and Cody Ware Dutton? That's fucking bullshit. Why do you even know that Haley Deegan has underwear? I saw it on my Instagram feed. Okay. You know, you know why? Because <laughs> Ryan Mosley liked it. <laughs> Damn it, Ryan, you fucking sick. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I want Cody wear underwear that form fits to my area with Cody wear and some anime goth girls on there. Fuck the anime goth girls. I just want Cody wear. Nah, dude, you got to get the full effect. You got to experience the whole Cody wear experience. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. Um, where the hell were we? Oh, well, that's what we were talking about. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rick Ware Racing. So the 51 car for the third year in a row is in the bottom three in points as far as the chartered teams. So if they finish there, they allegedly will lose their charter. NASCAR will repossess the charter. Um, but coincidentally – yeah, it'd be, I'm, I would be heartbroken. We're going to have to pour one out for, for RWR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like this carpet. Um, but coincidentally, the 15 car is four points up. So, you know, what random mechanical failure is the 15 going to have in the next couple of races so the 51 gets in? Well, I don't understand. They both score one point per race, so how the fuck are they even going to catch them? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. <gasps> That's very true. I don't know, man. No, I mean they they finish enough to they they finish high enough to where they can get. I don't know. It's going to be. It's not as easy as we think it's going to be. No, four points no. doesn't sound like much, but when you're in 36th every race. Yeah, yeah, and you get 36th to 40th, get one point each. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I mean, they've done this before. NASCAR got on them because they pulled some shit uh, back when Reed was driving for them, um, where they, they got caught on the radio, hit them pulling one car in so they could get another higher up in points so they wouldn't, you know. Yeah, and they got a problem with that, but not the nine telling everybody that they're going to junk the four car. I mean, hell, I didn't even have a problem with that. I, mean, I had more of a problem with knew the... it was Everybody knew it was going to happen, but you don't say it on the radio. Well, here's the, well, here's the thing. NASCAR, no, they not. It's Chase. They NASCAR, don't have a problem with it if NASCAR he actually does. proves to me every time something like this happens, whether it's that or it's um, the nine. Maybe NASCAR or the loves twenty-two to talk team about. Maybe that, NASCAR loves to talk about Rick Ware as much as we do. Maybe, but NASCAR. Maybe that's why they allow this. NASCAR keeps proving that they fucked over Michael Walter Bracing and Ty Norris, like every time. Because theirs wasn't even as egregious as the 22 in the same race or the nine saying they're going to junk him or Rick Ware fucking with the charter system. Uh, I don't know about that one. They got fucked. I mean, this is a topic for another day. Yeah. Maybe I mean, uh, maybe in the off season we can we can revisit some some of some of these controversies and when sure. we have nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Um, we need to do a Rick Ware special during the off season. we have enough content for that? Ah, I'm sure we could pull together some shit. Yeah. I we mean, we spent the last, we we spent the last 10 clip. minutes talking about Cody Ware's underwear. We Cody Ware underwear and charter, huh? We could just do a clip show of us of talking, talking about, about Rick Ware, Ware on the yeah. podcast. Seems yeah, we could do it. Um the big motor small blade Rick Ware special sponsored ba, 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 by Chase Elliott <laughs> underwear. <laughs> um Chase Elliott underwear. Elliot. If you want to sponsor us, we're game. We're what? Game. Game. Okay. Sorry. Um the la no, I saw a tweet earlier. It was um okay. it was a picture, it was like the last the end of an era or something. And it was a picture of a chassis. It was the last chassis 
um, was built um, by the teams. And it's kind of, it's kind of sad, you know, yeah. ever since forever, you know, pretty much the teams have built their own chassis and now they're not anymore, obviously. And other than when they it's just kind of off the showroom floor. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of, damn, I was like, damn, kind of, kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. It, this is this is way different than any other generation change we've gone through in Cup. You know, it's it's it was still going from uh, Gen Four to Car Tomorrow. It was still yeah in house. Same thing with Car Tomorrow to, to Gen Six and. Um, yeah, I refuse to call car tomorrow Gen Five. That's just stupid. But um, I don't think that was an argument that you needed to make. But okay, I, I needed to say that in that moment, and it felt right. Okay. All right. Well, I don't need to question everything, <laughs> buddy. Well, that's what I'm here for. Got to keep question. you honest, man. Yeah. Um. Not everybody can predict everything correctly all the time, like I do. All right. Yeah, that's why you've only picked the winner once since we've been doing this. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Um, technically. Ty Dillon. Technically three times. What? Hamlin definitely won Talladega. Okay. And Kyle Busch was just I a mean, surrogate Kyle Larson pick, so. I, all right. Look, you're getting into some some <laughs> conspiracy theories here. This is not a conspiracy theory. This all is right, not anyway. about how they put chemicals in the Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're gonna we're going down a dark path. Uh, GMS, I don't know if we talked about this last week. GMS hired Ty Dillon to drive the Cup car. I don't For quite understand reason. that one. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. he's literally the only guy that hasn't won in that fifty-four car this year. He's not even the Gibbs. best Ty. Yeah, I mean, not that they were gonna pry Ty Gibbs away, but you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah. Spencer Gallagher, man, they got that. They got that airplane money. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, Whatever uh, they want to do. Is Ty Gibbs or not Ty Gibbs? Is Ty uh, Ty Dillon funded? Is that the thing? I would assume. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. There's no other it's, explanation. It's Ty Dillon. I forgot he existed. Yeah, it was nice not having to hear about him never this year. Yeah. Uh, and now we're going to have to go back to not hearing about him ever. Yeah, except for when he looks like Lewis Hamilton at the Robo and wins the stage. <laughs> yeah, I forgot um, that. Last week, last week I said that I didn't remember anything from that race. That's not true. I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Matt DiDomenedetto um, continues to make – just get – bro is – I think he's like insane. I think no, he's like I, clinically I, I, insane. I don't think so. I think he has a complex. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, he he wants to be. He says he's talking to teams, but he wants to find a team that will allow him to be vocal and outspoken and be the first NASCAR driver to be openly open about his religion and his patriotism. Did he say the first? Yes. He said that. He said that. That's what he said. Okay. Jesus. Uh, but, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, dude, what the hell kind of fucking – Yeah. I, you missed the boat by a lot, guy. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. Like, not even close. I – God. Yeah, I mean – I just – I don't understand this. What man. NASCAR team is mandating that guys don't talk about their religion or their patriotism? NASCAR team? Yeah, Man, I don't – Fucking – Yeah. Game. I mean, Michael McDowell, very open about it. Trevor Bain was one. Um, Ty Gibbs is very open about it. Yeah, exactly. Well, I the mean – The entire Gibbs team is open about it. Yeah, well, he's found, well. That's a whole team, and Ty Gibbs is on the team. So I mean, he's, yeah, but his name's, like, his name's above the fucking building. 
the team um, does prayers when they win a race, right? Right after. It's the first thing they do. Yeah, well. Joe maybe, Gibbs well, gives the invocation. Well, well, here's the thing. He already screwed up his opportunity with Gibbs. 11 years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, boat's ship, bro. Um, well, the then Ark he got another left. opportunity. Yeah. Um, the Ark has left. <laughs> but the Ark has left, guy. Um but and then you got Brad. He, I don't know. It's just Brad's it didn't make any sense. Patriotic. Yeah, it didn't make any sense what he was saying. So I, I just kind of NASCAR is openly patriotic as a brand. They it's, do a fucking invocation before the race. Yeah, I, I there are not I a whole understand. lot of sports out there that do invocations. I don't think there are any. So I don't know where he's getting at. No, I, I think dude, they I do. Just, I think they do an IndyCar still. Some races, at least oh, yeah, in, yeah. In, like Indy and stuff, but yeah. Um, Indy's I just I didn't understand stuff. the whole thing. Um, I, Kansas, Kansas should be a little bit better race than Texas. You gonna click your heels together and go home? Uh, no, no, I'm not even gonna go to Kansas, so there's no reason to go home if I'm not going. So, oh, okay, um, yeah. It'll be uh, – it's a 550 race, last one of the year. Last 550 race with this Gen car, 6, yeah. With the Gen 6. So, I mean, Thank- good. It would be a whole lot more exciting if it was the last 550 race, period. But – Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I thought – No offense to yeah. Ryan Blaney. Yeah, dim some breaks. No offense to Ryan Blaney. Motherfucker might win the championship, but, you know. Watch your brakes go out in Phoenix. It's like about the final four. (laughs) (laughs) Your brother would have a damn aneurysm. Guys, my brakes are fading. Fuck. Figure it out, Ryan. (laughs) Fucking Chase Um, Elliott drives in and junks him like the clash. The season is the way it began. (laughs) Hey. Um, who Who you got for Kansas? I am going to pick Kyle Larson. Wow. I want another three Pete. You want another three Pete? I do. Yeah. Okay. And we couldn't figure out when the last time somebody three Peted twice in the same season was. So I think he's going to five Pete, but I can't pick him because you picked him. Um, I don't know. I forgot that I was supposed to pick somebody. <laughs> you could, you could just pick Larson. I really don't care. No, I mean no. We got a if different it's, principle. If it's the answer, I can't, it's the answer. I just I can't pick Chase. I can't pick Larson. You can pick Harvick though. That does. That's not a good pick. It is a pick. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, he picks Joey Logano. Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney, wow. No, yeah, that's where I'm going. I I was going to pick someone else that we're not we're, we're not going to name his name, but you might have just said it, but I didn't want that to come true. So we're going to go with Ryan Blaney. <laughs> the corn juice told you to pick Ryan Blaney. The corn juice? Yeah. Yeah, the corn no, juice. The, the Baja Blast told me to pick Ryan Blaney. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Yep. Yep. Um, should be fun. Hopefully. There's a damn murder going on outside my house, apparently. Um, yeah. Just yeah. acknowledge anyway. it, don't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, I started blasting. Yeah. Bam, so anyway, bam, bam. I started bam, bam. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't see so good, so I missed. So I missed. <laughs> um, That's NASCAR when they're trying to curtail their, their rivalries. They don't see so good, so they miss. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, all right, cool. I guess that's it. Yeah. yeah He's been right, Big cool. Motor. I've been Small Blade. Yeah, and, damn right uh, you are. And you've been we'll watching. see you in Kansas. <laughs> we'll see y'all, and we'll see Kansas. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore, and we also were never there. We also are not going. Yes. Let's go. Well, we already went. It already happened.
fuck. 